What's happening guys? Welcome back to the video. So today we have the last of my Black Friday goodies. Um, as you can see I picked up the Reshiram Charizard GX box finally. Uh, we also picked up 10 Evolutions packs to go with it. Because we're still on the hunt for some Charizards from here. So without further ado, we'll get cracking and we'll get straight into this. So we'll start with the Reshiram and Charizard GX box. And I'll go a little bit slow with it because I haven't actually seen what's in here myself. Um, I've seen a couple of little videos online, but I've never had actually a good look myself to see what's in here. So let's just get cracking. And we'll have a look see. So I will be sharing all the code cards to get, uh, today with you guys. So if that's what you like, keep your eyes open for that. So let's just be careful about the damage anything. So which way is the pins on this? Oh, it's actually not pinned. It's got a nice little compartment thing. It's handy. Stops us damaging the card. That's how they should all be, but they're not usually. So, you get that very nice full art Reshi Ram and Charizard Alternative Art GX. It's a very gorgeous looking card, actually. Um, and you also get that in a jumbo card version, which is also textured just like the normal card. It's quite a nice touch. Put that to one side. You get two Unified Minds packs, and you get an Unbroken Bonds pack and a breakpoint pack for some strange reason and you also get a code card for you guys there you go and you get a very nice little Reshiram and Charizard figurine so what we'll do is we'll pop that to the back act as our little mascot and hopefully it'll bring us a bit of good luck so I think what we'll do is we'll just do a couple of evolutions packs, then we'll crack into some of those packs. And I've noticed actually recently that evolutions, oh it's a white code card, um, the price of an evolutions booster box seems to be starting to rise a little bit now. I think a full booster box is around about, three cards for XY, is it? Uh, it's around about £140 now. Which for a set that was printed in quite large bulk is starting to get quite expensive. So we start with a nice coffin for a bit of nostalgia here. So Kakuna, Charmeleon, Caterpie, Poliwag, Pikachu, Ponyta, Nidoran, a reverse dark energy, not bad. And a hollow hitman trying to start us off. Not bad. Not bad at all. God. And I almost went all from the back, so let's just pop that back there because I don't want to spoil it. So we've got a Charmeleon, Charizard Spirit Link, Spirit Potion, Spirit Potion, Super Potion, sorry, Sandshrew, Onyx, Magikarp, Fighting Energy, Staryu. The reverse Pidgeot Spirit Link and a full art Brock's Grit Trainer. Very nice card. I've actually already had one of these in a recent pack opening. Uh, I think it was the one I did with Joey a while back. But a nice pull nonetheless. That's two off the belt. So we'll do one more Evolutions, then we'll crack into that Breakpoint pack and probably the Unbroken Bonds pack. So there you go, a code card for you. That's one, two, three. So we've got a Professor Orcs hint, in Arena, Super Potion, Vulpix, Dark Energy, 
a very terrible focus of a camera. Magic Carb, Weedle, Electabuzz, Reverse Magic Carb, and a regular rare Farfetched, who used to be an uncommon, I believe, in the beer set. But for some reason, they decided to troll off and make it a rare in their evolutions pack. <coughs> so, the Breakpoint pack. So, there's your booster point, booster pack. And it's three because that's an XY, isn't it? It is, yeah. So, I don't know what the pull ratios are like for this box. As I say, I haven't seen many. So, we start with the Fury Belt. What I'll do is I'll pop them up there so they're separate. Marwell, a Splash Energy, Scarubi, Petal, Pancham, Growlithe, Esper, Reverse Blitzel, and a regular rare Lilligant. So, Broughton Bond. You never know, could be a nice little Charizard waiting here for us. Now is it just me, or is anybody else just not that fussed about Charizard? I like to pull it just purely because, yep, it holds a lot of value, but Charizard himself doesn't really excite me as much as other Pokemon. He's, uh, I mean, he's, he's up there, he's probably in my top 20, but personally I don't think he's as uh, good as everyone makes him out to be. So we've got a Welder. Laron. Triple Acceleration Energy. Poliwag. Ekans, Drowsy, Pikachu, Grubbin, nice reverse spirit tomb there, and a Raichu with his good old never give up model. Although sometimes when you open an unbroken bond, you just feel like giving up. And I didn't mean to reveal that course card, but there you go, it's a nice white one. So, a bit bent them actually, you see that there, but I think you can't straighten out I suppose. Uh, we've got a nice double colourless energy there, Charizard Spirit Link, Metapod, Growlithe, Machop, Nidoran, Ponyta, Drowsy, a reverse rare Nidoking, it's quite nice, and a Venusaur EX, not too bad. So the evolutions packs are actually not bad. We're doing quite well with these at the moment. Uh, we haven't had anything out of the box yet. But hopefully the two unified minds have something decent in them. So we start with a Kakuna. Coffin. Matchhawk. Diglett. Rattata. Charmander. A Psychic Energy. Pikachu. Reverse Star U. And a hollow polygraph. Not a bad pull. So we'll do this. We'll do the two unified minds and then we'll do the final four evolutions. Oop, throw the card away. Give that back to you. There you go. Right. So we start with a Nidorino, which I thought was rare for a second there, so apologize. Uh, double Colorless Energy, Charizard, Spirit Link, Weedle, Machop, Pangala, Vulpix, Fire Energy, a Reverse Hitmonchan, which is a nice reverse rare, and a regular rare Beedrill. Okay, let's get into the Unified Minds. So I think we're after the Mewtwo and Mew Rainbow Rare, which is not going to be in here, because I just spotted that. But anyway, let's have a look. We've got a Leaf Energy, a Steeny, a Zulf, the Dene, Slack Off, Salandit, Unsweet, Salandit, Scraggy, a Reverse Reset Stamp, and a Scrafty, regular rare. 
So absolutely nothing, not even a hollow out of this box so far. So the four packs have actually been terrible. Um, I did mainly just buy it for the, uh, there we go, another green code card. I guess I did mainly just buy it for the, the full art card, the promo card. So it was a good job that I did actually buy some Evolutions packs to open with this video. Otherwise we'd have absolutely nothing for this showcase. So we've got a Steeny, Azulf, Dedenne, Drugon, Shroomish, Drifloon, Dupider, Cryagnal, Reverse Magnemite, and a Zerg Tree. Okay, so we've got a Charizard Spirit Link, Metapod, Venusaur Spirit Link, Machop, Weedle, Doduo, Staryu, Onyx, a Break Nidder King, which is not bad, considering it was a green code, and a regular Rare Duck Trio. Three packs to go. So we've got an energy retrieval, Venusaur Spirit Link, Charmeleon, Rattata, Growlithe, Nidoran, Vulpix, Sandshrew, nice reverse, Lightning Energy, and a Raticate, regular rare. So we've got a Magma, Potion, Pokedex, Fairy Energy, Voltorb, Tangela, Poliwag, Seal, Reverse Pikachu, and a Mega Pidgeot EX. Quite a nice card. Probably one of the more valuable ones out of the general EX ones, I think. Okay, the final pack. And we've got a bit of a miscut on these. See the square edge on there? I think that is just for well, the first handful of cards actually, but it doesn't affect the rare, fortunately. Okay, so we start with a Brock's Grid. Slow Bro Spirit Link. Magmar. Onyx. Weedle. Matchup, Tangela, Vulpix, a Reverse Full Heal, and another Venusaur EX. But we'll take it, we will take it. So, nice little recap. All evolutions, because the box was absolutely terrible. And uh, the only thing that came out of the box that was any good was the Full Art promo. We then have a Venusaur EX. Mega Pidgeot EX, a Nidder King Greg, Polyrath Hollow, another Venusaur EX, Brock's Grit Full Art, and a Hitmonchan Hollow. So that's it for tonight's video, guys. Thank you for watching as always, and I will see you all next time.